Good morning, friends. Today I thought I would show you our chicken coop while I was coming out to collect eggs. So this is the main chicken house where they lay all the majority of their eggs. There's a smaller chicken coop where some of the, the pullets have started laying, but this is the, the main coop here. And looks like we've got a few in here to collect. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab, we got some green eggs here, some nice blue and brown, green, I guess. It's quite a few today because we have 20 chickens, I believe is the count right now. I think we lost one a few days ago when they were free ranging. But that is a pretty good amount for the morning. So, so this is their, these are their nesting boxes. About, there's about four of the older hens that, that like to roost in here at night. And then this is their run. We recently got this really big water container. It's working okay. It just gets dirty pretty fast. So we're working on a solution for that. Mm -hmm. And this is our smaller coop that we connected as the pullets became big enough to mix with the, the older hens. So sometimes they lay in here. We'll check it. Check it in here. But they're mostly pooping in here. Looks like it needs to be cleaned again. There's quite a few of them. I think there's 17, 16 or 17 that sleep in here. So it gets pretty messy fast. But our run has a really nice roof on it to protect them from the snow and rain. It's nicely shaded back here. We let them out uh, most days. So I'm gonna bring these eggs back inside and I'll show you our garden. Stay tuned. So this is our herb garden, mostly over here. We have some cilantro, thyme, oregano. The basil's doing really nice some dill for our pickles that we have growing up above and we have some tomatoes some more basil these are green beans over here and some more uh, cherry tomatoes they like this area it gets really hot over here so we just put a few kind of closer this way and then up above probably need water today So, up here is our main garden. We don't actually have a lot of sun on our property because we have so many trees and they, uh, they block a lot of the full sun. But up here, we get a good amount of full sun. We have a new apple tree starting there and a nice big apple tree down there probably need to put a new door on here soon but we have some corn growing there And some squash, some more squash coming in and kale. It's doing pretty good. We have too many tomatoes back there. <laughs> we put way too many tomatoes in that one box, but I have a little elderberry bush here that is starting, just starting to grow. I'm probably gonna have to move this. They actually don't like as much sun. This is a lemon, some sort of lemon plant. <laughs> it's for tea, I believe. So 
don't totally know what that one is, but these are pickles. Got some good pickles in here to pick. We've already um, harvested quite a few. Got some in here. Let's see, there's some cucumbers mixed in here too, but I think we got them all yesterday. We are new to gardening. We've only been gardening in Idaho for, well, about six years. But we just moved to this house a few, three years ago. Got some jalapenos. So it took a little while to find the best place to grow and when to start them. Um, the tomatoes, we have quite a few. We have a bunch of different varieties. They are starting to turn, which is nice, finally. But there's way too many in there. We meant to put half of them over here. They need really deep soil. My daughter just ran over to let me know there's a chicken in our house. So if you have chickens and toddlers, that might happen <laughs> from time to time. And I just barely caught it before it started pooping in there. My son is obsessed with chickens. He just loves, loves chickens. He would sleep with them if he could. So just watering these tomatoes here now. It's actually still a little wet. I watered them really good yesterday. So they don't need a whole lot today. And, uh, it's smoky out right now. It's a little smoky. You can see, I don't know. It's still a little smoky. I think it's from the big Washington fires. There's a big fire there not too far away. I think it's in the Spokane area. We had a fire here close by us too a couple days ago. But obviously <laughs> everything worked out okay here. So. so yeah, that's our garden. And um, we'll see what happens with this elderberry tree. Hopefully we can replant it somewhere and have some nice elderberries. I don't know how long it takes for elderberries to really start growing. Hopefully next summer I like to make some elderberry um, syrup. Maybe elderberry gummies. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming along and checking out my chicken coop and garden today. If you have any gardening tips for me, please let me know. Or chicken coop ch uh, tips as well. Um, I love any tips you have. We're still fairly new to all this. But um, thanks so much for joining me. Bye.